Hello, my name is Tyler Chen from the Noon Frontier. On this week's episode of Math Proof Monday, we will be discussing Gabriel's Horn and the Painter's Paradox. Suppose we had a graph for the function 1 over x. Now, let's bound that function from 1 to infinity. What would happen if we were to revolve that graph three-dimensionally? By revolving the graph three-dimensionally, we get a mathematical object called Gabriel's horn. But what makes this object so special? First, let's look at the volume of Gabriel's horn. If we were to take a slice of a section of Gabriel's horn, we would get a circle with radius 1 over x, the original function. We can then use an integral to find the area of Gabriel's horn by summing each circle from 1 to infinity. The trick here is to use a limit to evaluate the integral separately from pi. This gives us pi times 1 minus 1 over infinity, or just pi. Now let's look at the surface area. The surface area for a solid of revolution can be given by the following equation, which we can plug 1 over x into. Let's simplify that. Wait a minute. This integral can't be evaluated. If we recall that the function is only in the domain 1 to infinity, we can compare the integral to the integral of 1 over x. This is equal to infinity. Since the following expression is greater than 1 over x to infinity, we can say the integral will equal infinity. If we do a bit of rearranging, we can find that the surface area of Gabriel's horn is equal to infinity. So we have found that the volume of Gabriel's horn is pi, and the surface area is infinity. Wait, what? This presents a paradox known as the painter's paradox. Suppose I had a bucket of paint with the exact volume pi units cubed, along with Gabriel's horn. If I poured this bucket of paint into Gabriel's horn, the paint should be able to fill up the horn fully, yet the paint is not sufficient enough to coat the surface of the horn. There are multiple problems with this paradox, however. Firstly, you would never be able to fill up the horn with paint in the first place, as it is infinitely long. Secondly, even if you had infinitely fast paint, you would also need a paint with zero thickness or width, which should travel down the thinnest parts of the horn. However, this paradox is still a fasting display of the intricacies of mathematics. And while debating about filling an unreal object with paint may be pointless, the idea that you can have a mathematical object which violates all common sense isn't, as it shows the true beauty of mathematics, which is its ability to challenge our ideas on how the world works. <laughs>